Hello, my mindful yogis. Welcome back to Move Nourish Heal. I'm Mike. And today is December 1st and I'm committing to a 21 day yoga challenge on my channel, okay? So please, if you can commit to this, join me every day. What it's gonna look like, it'll be a 30 minute yoga practice. It will be power yoga most of the time, but I will probably throw in some deep flows and some like maybe even a yin class to surprise you. But I wanna just keep moving my body. In the studios every year, we normally do a yoga challenge. Some of you out there have probably done it with me where it's like if you do yoga every day leading up to Christmas, there's prizes. I don't really have a prize to give out, Right, as of right now, maybe that will change. I don't know, stay tuned. But yeah, what it's gonna be is 30 minutes of yoga and at the end of every class, I'm gonna read the reading for that day from um, Journey to the Heart, which is a book that lots and lots of yoga teachers know. We just read, it's called The Magic Book. Just little short meditations. Um, so I'll read this during Shavasana at the end of every class, okay? So from now until December 21st, I'm challenging you out there, my mindful yogis, to get onto your yoga mat. You can be doing these classes with me every day or it can just be getting into some of the other if you don't have as much time maybe 30 minutes is too long but committing to moving your body every day in december and staying committed to that um, state of optimal health trying to keep yourself on that path today's going to be journey into power i want to move so we're going to come into child's pose and we're just going to let it flow okay so mr b could you go to your bed for me come on to your bed okay come on to your bed yeah great thanks Child's pose, knees wide, toes touching. And just start to connect right away to your ujjayi breathing. Making a commitment like this, like putting it out there to you guys, whoever is listening, it's just gonna keep me committed. And it's the same thing with you. Tell people in your life maybe that you're gonna commit to doing yoga, to finding movement every day in December. And just to see what happens, yeah? If you make that commitment 100%, just doing something every day out of your normal day-to-day -day activities so that you're actually moving your body, getting your heart rate up a little bit most of the time would be nice, but even just the physical movement. Take downward facing dog. Pedal out your knees. And ragdoll at the top of your mat. Feet hip distance apart. Take a moment to let your upper body go. Every day when you hit your mat, I know from my experience, a consistent practice when you start to do it every day, you just start to get clear on what your body actually needs. So like what my body needs from day to day in these classes will be different maybe than what yours is if you're committing to it with me every day. Just let that be okay. Let your body show up however it needs to and appreciate yourself, acknowledge yourself every time you make space in your day to get onto your yoga mat. Fingertips to the ground, bring your toes to touch. Halfway lift and fold. Extended mountain, reach up to the ceiling, lengthen. Fold forward, hug into your legs. Halfway lift, long spine. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. I'm so close to Mr. B with this setup. My tree is a monster. Stay tuned. I'll do a video on that. It's a nine foot tree in an eight foot room, so don't ask. <laughs> Take a breath in. Press down into your hands and feet. Lift up onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hopper step to the top of your mat. Flat back right away. Fold forward. Extended mountain. Reach up. Lengthen your whole body. Fold, squeeze into your legs. Flat back, shoulders back. Chaturanga Dandasana, step or shoot back, low plank. Upward facing dog, press your knuckles down. Downward facing dog, hips back. Breathe in, and breathe out. Lift up, bent, empty, look forward. Hop to the top of your mat, flat back. Fold. One more extended mountain. Find that a big stretch, a big reach. Fold, squeeze into your legs. Flat back, hug in. High to low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift onto your toes. Bend your knees. 
hop or step to the top, flat, fold, chair, fold, halfway lift, lengthen your spine, chaturanga dandasta, plant your hands, lower down, upward facing dog, feel your thighs lift up, downward facing dog, hips back, right foot warrior one, step between your hands, reach your fingertips, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow, use your breath, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, warrior one, big reach, press down, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, breathe in, breathe out. Do that again. Fill and empty. Lift onto your toes. Bend your knees. Hop or step forward. Flat back. Fold. Chair. One breath. Sit low. Hold. Squeeze your chest to your thighs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Finding that movement with breath. Vinyasa, upward facing dog, lift up, downward facing dog, warrior one, reach, press, lengthen, chaturanga dandasana, move, flow, in, and out, left side, warrior one, reach for it, chaturanga dandasana, flow, Upward facing, lift up, downward facing dog. Breathe. Building some heat here. You find the right amount of work for your body. Rest as you need to and really challenge yourself too. Right, that fine balance between like exhaustion and really challenging yourself to work. Lift up onto your toes, bend, hop for step, flat back. Fold forward, chair, fold, lengthen, and flow, up, downward facing dog, right foot warrior one, use your core muscles, find a little back bend, chaturanga dandasana, float your right toes, Upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left side, press, reach, and flow. Upward facing, down dog, take a breath in, empty it out, right foot forward, crescent lunge, reach up, hands to the center of your chest, twist to the right side. Keep that lift in your back heel. Keep integration through the shoulders, wrapping onto your back. Breathe in. See where you can go deeper in this pose. Find that, like wringing it out, rinsing it out. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Settle in. Making the most of this 30 minute practice. Fully get to your edge as often as you can. Feel it, embrace it, see what's possible, right? If you think you can't practice yoga every day, you don't know till you try. And you don't know till you actually listen to what your body is offering every time you hit your mat. It might be different from day to day. Breathe in, breathe out, flip and reverse back, extended side angle, breathe in. Reach up those top fingers, left shoulder back, spark your top hand, breathe in, breathe out, one more big reach up, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, left foot forward, crescent lunge, 
active through that back leg. Yeah, keep the kneecap lifted up. Core muscles fired up. Hands to heart center, twist to the left. Hook the elbow and then use that leverage of your hands. Press the palms together. Wrap the shoulders back. Breathe in. Breathe out. Lengthen and twist. One more, inhale. Exhale. Warrior two. Set it up. Find your stance. Find your feet. Settle in. Wake up the core engagement. Squeeze through center. Breathe. Stay. Inhale. Exhale. Soften and firm up wherever needs to happen, right? The shoulders are soft. The legs are working strong. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Reverse. Peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Any variation. If you want to find or just keep the reach. Play. A couple more breaths. Big breath in. Big twist. Wrap that right shoulder back. Another inhale. Another exhale. Take a last breath right here. Spark the fingers. Chaturanga Dandasana. Low. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. High plank. Move into side plank. Left arm goes up. Take a breath in. Gaze to your top hand. Find. Like right away, go to the biggest expression, play with it. Maybe it's a little messy. And then switch sides, high plank. Side plank, right arm up. Activate the legs, the core, the hands, the feet. Wake it up. Gaze to your top hand. Take a breath in. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward. Downward facing dog. Onto your toes. Bend your knees, hop or step to the top of your mat, flat back, and fold. Fingers to toes, forward fold. Scoop up your toes, let the crown of your head go. Breathe in. Really soften the upper body. Generous breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Share. Bring your feet back to touch. The heels just a little wider, big toes touching. Chair twist to the right side. Hook that left elbow and then wrap the shoulder blades back. Root down through the centers of both heels. Your inner ankles, draw them back. Outer ankles, press them down. Take a breath in. Twist it out. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Center. Utkatasana. Twist right to the left. Stay in it. Stay in the fire, stay in the work, press your palms, root your feet, lengthen and twist. Take one more, inhale, stay twisted out, release. Gorilla, palms underneath your feet. Press your toes down into your wrists, let the crown of your head go. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Soften into it. Release your feet. Toes touch. Come up to a flat back. Fold forward. Sweep all the way up. Eagle pose. Right arm under. Right leg over. Breathe in. Sink down deeper into it. Again, inhale, exhale, breathe, go a little deeper, sweep up, other side, left, eagle, engage the center line, pull in, settle down, inhale, exhale, breath in, breath out, Sweep up, standing leg raise on the right side. Grab your knee or your foot open. Challenging yourself here, yogi. 
Take a breath in, find like full expression. One more, inhale. Leg back to center, heel forward, reach up, lift up, airplane, fly back. Take a breath here, feel it, feel that lift through the chest, length in the back leg. Breathe in, half moon, open it up, grab your block or water bottle if you need the floor to be a bit closer. Lift that top ankle, lift your top fingers. Just a couple more breaths. Whoa, and if you fall out, amazing. Set it up again. Begin again right there. Find a full breath. Fold forward. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Sweep all the way up. Through the other side. Oh, where are we? Yeah, standing leg raise. <laughs> Left side. Grab your knee. Open it up. Things might not show up the way you want them to. I know from my experience doing like a 21 day challenge, my body isn't always exactly where my ego might want it to be. Foot back to center. Inhale your toes higher. Exhale, fly back airplane. So you might fall out. You might be wobbly some days. You might not be able to get into the pose you want to. If you commit to doing it every day, it's not about doing it the same every day, doing it perfect every day, half moon about finding the connection to the practice connection to your body commitment right like you say you're gonna do it so you do it and if you fall off for a day don't give up don't say it's not worth trying anymore begin again start the next day without any judgment then there will be success there will be space for possibility feet together fold halfway lift squeeze into your legs Sweep up, dancer on the right side. Grab the inside of your right foot, kick back, lift up. Keep that support in your center, your belly muscles engaged to support the back, to keep you balanced, breathe. Inhale, switch sides, dancer on the left. Find it, set it up intentionally and then expand into it, right? And if you find that, Lack of balance, maybe you didn't set it up intentionally. Find your bottom foot. Find muscles pulling into your bones, supporting you, lifting you higher. Take a breath in and release. Tree on the right side. Any variation. Let your tree grow. Be in the flow here, not stagnant. Searching for what's possible in this moment of your yoga practice. Engage. Press down. Pull in. Lift up through your chest, through your fingers. A big breath. And release. Left side to tree. Set it up. Ground that right foot. Press your left foot into your right leg and resist that like your leg pushes back. And then from that stable base, you grow. And if instability sneaks back in, amazing, acknowledge it. Find the muscles that will support you. And if you fall out, you don't put meaning, you just begin again. The next breath, a reset, possibility. Inhale, exhale, your biggest expression, and release. Sweep your arms up to the ceiling. Fold forward, hug into your legs. Halfway lift. Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Warrior two. Triangle pose, straighten the leg. Grab a block to bring the floor a bit closer. If you don't have a prop, it's pressing the palm into the shin. Just don't like let that lock out your knee. Out. Push your shin back up. Open the front of your chest, wrap back through your shoulders, inhale, exhale, reach and twist. Take one more breath in, Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out, up dog, downward facing dog, left side, warrior or triangle, just go straight to triangle. If you want to take the warriors, go for it, okay? But come down. It's moving essentially, essentially, essentially. Yeah, finding each breath, landing you in the pose. 
right? Even if you were still in the pose in that last breath, you're finding something new, looking for what's possible. Keep searching, yogi. Breathe in, twist open. One more inhale right here. Chaturanga Dandasana, flow it out. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Come forward, lower down to your belly. Move right into locust pose, arms back. Create the lift in the chest, lift in those back legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Feel shoulders, core muscles, like all the muscles of your body squeezing into the bones. Take a breath here. Interlace your hands. Stay for the exhale. Three more. Bound locust. Push the knuckles back. Lift your collarbones up. Inhale. Exhale. Take a big breath and release. Always amazes me. He can sleep and I'm like screaming right in his ear. Oh, dog naps. <laughs> Take a breath in, empty it out. Come back to center, bend your knees, grab your ankles, one floor bow today, okay? So feeling this, keep with it. If you start to get tired, amazing. What can you still do? Acknowledge that tiredness. It's not bad, you're not weak, right? It's a possibility to modify. If you're bored, if you want more fire, if there's not enough engagement, like go higher, Yogi, kick back. Squeeze in, take a full breath, and release. <laughs> Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come to your knees. Let's take one camel. Do that. Lift up through the chest. Hands back onto your heels. Breath in. Breath out. A couple more. Stay. Inhale. Press the hips forward. Lift through the chest. Engage through the core. Take one more breath right here. And slowly come back up. Move right into your bridge, okay? No time wasted. Right into it, yogis. On your back. If you want to go for a wheel, like if you want more, then take wheel. I'm going to do a bridge. And then some wheels. Just checking in with your body, right? This is the peak. You get to the back bending. You've been working. You've been opening up the muscles, building the strength, getting your heart pumping. Where can you take it? Breathe in. Breathe out. Lift. Squeeze. One more inhale here. Gently come down. Right away, set yourself up for wheel if you're going there or bridge. And your next breath takes you back up, okay? Wheel pose. Lift into it. Maybe come onto your tippy toes. Maybe lift a foot up to the ceiling, like add in or subtract whatever you need to succeed in your mind, Yogi, right here. Big breath, slowly come down. Success in this practice is what you make it mean, okay? That's a big lesson it took a while for me to learn. It's not about getting the pose right. If you show up on your mat, and you have to keep resting, like acknowledge that you carved this time out in your day. Okay, go back up, wheel. If you try to go into wheel and you flop down again right away, amazing, you went up, right? You tried, keep trying, keep showing up in your practice this month and see where it leads you, leads us. Take a breath in, take a breath out, lift higher, slowly come down, let your knees fall from side to side. One more, just because they're so good. Wheel pose, go back up. Or it's bridge. Bridge is so good too. It's not less than wheel. They're both amazing options. Play, lift, squeeze. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Go a little bit higher, Yogi. You've got this. And then slowly come down. Supta, Bada, Konasana. <sighs> Right hand on your belly, left hand on your heart. Just pause for a moment and breathe. Inhale. Exhale. 
hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a squeeze here. Press your feet up to the ceiling, hands behind your head. Pulse up towards your toes here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower your right heel one inch off the mat. Scissor legs for one, two, three, four, five. Keep your shoulders lifted. Core strong. Seven, eight, nine. 10, both feet up, keep pulsing here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, bend your knees, bicycle twist for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. grab your knees, rock back and forth, and bring yourself up to Navasana, boat pose. Lift your chest. Any variation, take it on. A couple more breaths, fully express out. Take a full inhale right here. Hold for the exhale. Last one, lift up and rock back. Move into half pigeon or thread the needle on your right side, okay? Set that up. You can take a flow, you can just kind of get into it. If you want to stay on your back, take thread the needle or recline pigeon, or you flip over. Find your variation here. Settle into it. And let yourself start to unwind. Settle in here. Just do a few more moments of rest in this practice. Don't skip this part. Great to get physical and to move, to be active. And then these poses of inactivity, like physical, you're not doing as much activity, right? But the mind can be super active. So many things you could choose to think about. And the challenge in this practice, especially here, is to keep choosing the experience, the physicality. Wherever your thoughts try to take you, you've committed to this time, this space from all those other things, so you just stay committed. It's simple. If the commitment slips, like it might not be that simple to stay committed the whole 30 minutes, every single day, but just as often as you can be committed, right? Keep coming back, catch it. You don't have to think about that to-do list right now. You're choosing to, or you're not. Breathe in, and breathe out. Take one more breath, and then you'll just switch sides. Go into a hip pose on the left side, whether that's thread the needle or a half pigeon. Switch it up. And settle in. Big breath. Checking back in. Inhaling and exhaling, settling deeper into the pose. That's the focus. Right here. Breathe in, and breathe out. Do that one more time. And come back up to sit. Extend your legs out in front of you. And then pull the flesh out from your sit bones. Get the space here for the fold. Tailbone facing behind you, and then from there, fold your chest over your legs. Keep breathing. In. And out. Think 
little bit deeper. And come down onto your back. Move into an inversion, waterfall or shoulder stand. Take it on. 10 breaths. Inhale, exhale. You can stay where you are if you want to move through plow, knees to ears pose, you can do that. Make sure not to kick your dog. Oh, perfect space there. Breathe. Couple more in and out. On your next inhale, slowly roll out. Extend the left leg, draw your right knee in. Cross that over your body. Take a breath in, take a breath out. One more inhale, deepen that. Come back through center, switch sides. Left knee in, cross over, deep stretch, inhale. And exhale. Again here. Twist a little further. Come back to center. Give your knees a squeeze. Forehead to your knees. Pull in nice and tight. And then release to Shavasana. Close your eyes. Just let yourself rest, okay? I'm going to do this reading at the end of every class this month as well. So the reading for December 1st is, let yourself be who you are. It's difficult to be around people who are trying to be perfect, perfectly healthy, perfectly polite, perfectly poised, perfectly controlled. Remember that being humans means being imperfect, being flawed. Let yourself be. Let others be. Slouch in your chair, eat with the wrong fork, laugh out loud. Stand up and reveal who you are and know that you're good enough. Stop worrying that people will find out who you really are. Instead, hope that they do. Help them by openly sharing yourself and being not who you think you should be, but who you really are. Freedom is just a small step away. A step into self-love and acceptance. When you take it in, others will follow. And they'll be grateful you led the way. Wiggle your fingers and toes, yogi. And take a stretch. Bring yourself up to a seated position. Join me here with your eyes still closed. With your hands together at the center of your chest. Bring your thumbs to the center of your forehead. Together we bow, we say, Namaste. Thank you so much. If you made it this far, you've already done one practice. So you might as well just commit to doing this challenge with me, okay? So 21 days, keep staying tuned in. I'll try to get them up earlier in the morning moving forward. I just kind of, it was a very last minute decision and I'm going to commit to it. So yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of December. We're at like 912, I think, as of this video being filmed. Also, my Patreon is really new. It's just been up for a couple of weeks. So if you do want to support the channel, there's lots of options over there on Patreon and you can find the link for that down in my description of the video. So please keep moving your body, keep nourishing your body, stay connected to your yoga practice this December, and I will see you tomorrow. Have an awesome rest of your day.